and a pleasant good Saturday morning. It's the fifth day of March. Um, it's going to be really cool this weekend, and it's still going to feel like winter here in L.A. And, uh, well, how about the Phoenix Suns comeback win over the Knicks last night? Yeah, 115-114. And also the... Uh, the Bull, the Bucks beat the Bulls last night too, and the Sixers also won as well. And um, the Pelicans just killed Utah. So the Pelicans are just a half game behind the Lakers in in the playing position right now. The Clippers, of course, have owned the Lakers all year, and the Clippers are sweep the season series four zip, even without Paul George and uh, Kawhi Leonard. And uh, Reggie Jackson has really put on a show. And same with Zubak and a few of their role players. And Ty Lu, of course, has been pushing the right buttons. And yeah, the Clippers are still in the eighth position right now. But they're three games over 500. And um, well, we have a lot of basketball tomorrow too. But tonight it's the Lakers against the Warriors. And um, while well, the Lakers are going to try to end their four-game losing streak, well, the Warriors have lost three in a row, and they're just a half game be ahead of uh, Memphis. In the so the, they're probably in danger of possibly finishing as a three seed. Yeah, the Warriors got their own struggles, while the Lakers, of course, without AD, are no help. So uh, Frank Vogel is going to finish the season after all. But boy, if Jason Kidd was still on his coaching staff, Bogle would have been gone. And um, well, a happy birthday going out to Kevin Connolly, best known as Eric and Entourage, and or E. Also, um, a happy birthday to Paul Konerko and to Jeffrey Hammonds. And also a happy birthday going out to Eva Mendes as well and to assistant coach Mike Brown. He's also an ex-Lakers coach and he's a he's the assistant coach to Steve Kerr and the Warriors. And um, well yeah, the Golden State Warriors of course have been a good team for many years. And um, well of course we all know that baseball has been delayed this year. Um, I have a feeling baseball will either start around May or June. I'm, I'm sure we're going to have an agreement signed. That means we're going to have to have spring training like in April, you know. But yes, we have to get our players conditioned. But a lot of games have been canceled. And um, also it's Coach my coach K's last game at his home arena as Duke hosts North Carolina and yes Mike Koshevsky is going to retire this season he's got to be one of the greatest coaches in college basketball history along with the late John Wooden yeah coach K has been coaching the Duke Blue Devils since 1980 wow that's a really long time. I just want to wish him nothing but the best in the future. And the Kings also won last night too. Trying to keep their hopes alive for the Stanley Cup playoffs. But yep, time is running out for the Lakers it looks like. And the Clippers, um, well, they'll probably at least finish as a 7 or 8 seed. But the Eastern Conference is really bunched up right now. Well, with uh, Miami still winning, you know, they're still in first place. Uh, the Sixers are now in second place. Yeah, the Bucks are now in third place. So it's it's crunch time in the East. And you round it out with uh, the Bulls and the Cavaliers and the Raptors. And, and, of course, Brooklyn's still in the eighth position right now. Yeah, anything can happen in that conference. And of course, Boston's the fifth seed, surprisingly. And of course, the Warriors and Grizzlies are 
fighting for that second seed. While well, Utah's still in the fourth position, Dallas is in the fifth position, Denver's number six. Well, the T-Wolves are seven, so... This, I mean, the Raptors would likely host the Nets for the 7-8 game, and the Timberwolves would host the Clippers. Meanwhile, the Lakers are in danger of falling out of the play-in tournament. They would at least host the 9-10 game, but if the Lakers lose the first game, their season's over. And, uh, of course, 9 and 10, you got the Hawks and the Hornets. Yeah. Yeah, Brooklyn. Uh, meanwhile, uh, have a good Saturday. I'll talk to you later. Amen.